A $60 million deal to buy and renovate the former Plain Dealer building to be the next Cleveland Police Headquarters dead tonight. And as the city looks for a new home, many are wondering how much it will cost taxpayers. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us now live with more. Jordan? You know, this really is the first time that city officials have publicly acknowledged that the deal to acquire the former Plain Dealer building is officially dead on arrival and it's no longer being considered. Now with other sites being looked at and being considered, everything, the whole timeline, the projection of events is in limbo. Time is money. And outside Cleveland Police Headquarters, hour by hour, the meters continue to run, not just for parking, but for the department's tenure here, too. We need a schedule. Schedule tells you everything. Nine cents a second. $326 an hour and nearly eight grand a day. That's how much it's costing the city to lease the current headquarters, a building that it once owned just three months ago. It's all part of a deal inked between the city and county that involved the city selling the current headquarters to the county for $9 million and then leasing it back for $2.8 million a year. Council approved the deal with the assumption that the police department would be moving into its new headquarters at the former Plain Dealer building by spring 2019. Yeah, we hate that, but um, we thought the deal was going to go through. We didn't. It was a lot of, it was a known unknown that the building has COGC and the YMCA in, in there. So that blocked it. Oh, we could be in there right now. Long-term leases at 1801 Superior were the apparent roadblocks, Conwell says, and they could not be overcome, with the mayor's office telling News 5 that the site is officially no longer being considered. I was looking forward to us going in there inside the Plain Dealer building, and I know the administration was looking forward uh, to us moving in, the, in there as well. Uh, so I am disappointed with that. The mayor's office says the administration continues to look at new sites, but other locations, like the former 3rd District headquarters, could require significant renovations. Not only could this potentially prolong the timeline, but also require the city to extend its lease on the current headquarters. We can't rush to it, because sometimes you rush, and you might say, uh, in, in the short run, that we might be here. But in the long run, we might be in a, in, a, in a better place. So we can't rush. I need to see their schedule. Because, you know, when you do projects, or, or you have to have a schedule. And as you heard Councilman Conwell mention, that schedule is vitally important, especially as the council will begin having budget hearings in February. Reporting live downtown, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.